Hello everyone, this is Yom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we have started a series on G plus one building detailing using Tecla structures. So guys, we are going to do the complete detailing of a G plus one residential building in this series. And now, what we have covered so far so we have started from the scratch that means how to modify the grid lines then we have learned how to model the different structure members then we have learned about the edit command and the view command and what are the different tools that are embedded in these commands which can help you to do the detailing so in the last few sessions we have already completed the reinforcement in footing and that too using the bars using the bar groups and using the components now today we are going to use the component for doing the reinforcement detailing in the column okay so we will take a column and then we will start doing the detailing using the application and the component box so let's start so we have covered this far in our model now you can see our footing is done now we are about to start with the column. So first of all, let's select the column and as guided previously, go to the view and go for the work area. So go for like this option that is to selected part in selected views or in to selected part in all views. Okay, so you will have different views for that. Now, I would not require this view, but over here i would require a plan view okay so i will just switch to plan view by pressing ctrl plus p okay now i will just create another view over here and to create that we can just go to a new view and go for a basic view create that okay now place it over here and again zoom the selected thing so for that go to the work area to selected part in all views and then we can do one more thing and that is go to rendering and show only the selected part okay so like this you can start it now in this view i would like to go for the top view so let's press ctrl p Okay, not in this one, but in this one. So control P. Now we will just tile it vertically and we can have a better view from here. Okay, so now let's start the detailing portion. So in this one, I am just going to do the detailing. So for that, what are the things that we need? We just need a simple application. And what is that? We will go over here and look for the column reinforcement. And we have this application column automated reinforcement layout 57. So you can also search it by 57 if you have already seen the previous sessions. There you would have must seen that how we can just search for different components in our tecla structures now over here this is our strand reinforcement so we don't have anything over here and we don't need to touch it out okay now we are about to provide the reinforcement so for that we can simply select the app and we can click on this column okay and the reinforcement will be provided after that we will also learn how you can just modify this reinforcement so for that let's press ctrl one so that you can simply visualize all the reinforcement so i'm just changing the view over here okay now you can see how i am modifying it so first of all let's go to the longitudinal rebars okay so we have these four rebars at four corners okay and let's take the help of our structural drawing so we have our 250 by 300 column in which we have four bars of 16 mm dia and then we have uh, the next thing that is four bars of 16 mm dia up to third slab and then we have 8t at the rate 150 center to center 
but this is a simple one. We will also go for the complex one that is this one, four bars of 16 mm dia and then four bars of 12 mm dia, okay? So let's start with this one. So if you want to go for four bars, then this is your option. If you don't want to go for this and go look for the next one, then you will have to look for the next one. So you can go for this because in this one we have eight bars. So we will simply start with this. Okay. Now this is your one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. So this numbering is very much useful because according to that, you have to fill the details over here. Okay. Now we have to put four bars of 16 mm dia at the corners and four bars of 12 mm dia at the in between them. Okay. So 16 and 12. So we will just go over here and from here we will go for FE500 then main reinforcement of 16 mm dia. Okay. So like this we have to go for 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. So let's quickly go for that. 1, 2, 3 and then 4. So like this, you can also select what kind of uh, like a bar you are using. That means the grade of the bar that you can decide it from here. And you can simply place that in your model. Now I have to go for 5, 6, 7, 8 as 4 bars of 12 mm dia. Okay. So we will simply go like this. Or you can also use the copy paste. But make sure that you are copying both the sides. That means the size and the grade okay however this is the accurate way of doing it so we will go with this one okay otherwise we also have that alternate way now let's select all the main reinforcement over here now the next thing is till what long you want to place these bars so at the bottom i don't want to leave any kind of clear distance so i will make it zero Okay, so you can see the distance, how it will be modified and then you can just look at the top view to see the changes in the bars. Now click on modify. Select the reinforcement and click on modify. So you can see the modifications at the corners we have four bars of 16 mm dia with the larger diameter and uh, the 12 mm dia bar are being represented using the smaller diameter. Now you can also see I have modified one more thing over here that is the clear distance. Now like this I can also modify the rest of the things. Let's see how. Okay. So over here in the longitudinal bar section we can also modify the top distance. So suppose you want to just increase the bar by 100 mm or let's say 200 mm okay so all these bars if you want to just carry on the construction then you can also do the modification like this so first of all select it and modify it and you will see this will come down by 200 now if you want to just bring it up then you can also do the modification like this like say minus 500 and it will just go up like this okay so you can do all these changes to continue your construction okay now let's go for the next option over here you can also visualize it in this one now the next thing is the primary ties that means the arrangement of the ties so this view you will help you out to understand the arrangement of the ties so you can just go to the primary ties and over here you can select what kind of ties you want. So you have multiple options over here. So first of all, you can just decide the cover. Like in the column, you want to get a cover of 40 mm. Now by no, by here, you know that uh, you have to provide the uh, ties of 8 mm dia bar and that should be a space at 150. So let's uh, go for the size and the tie grade. So go for 500 and then tie or stirrups. 
So this should be of 8 mm dia. And now the next thing is the hook type. Do you want to go for the hook type of 90 mm, 90 degree or 135 degree? Okay, now click on modify. And then you can just specify the distances. Now you have to look over here. So at what distance you want to get the first type? Okay. So you want this distance to be 20 or this distance to be like 100. Then the center one, this again, you want to be 125, if say, then region two, three, four to be 150. Then over here, you can just create the same as the left one, okay? Now, if you will just click on modify over here, then you will see the changes. So you can see the changes has been made. Now you can also reduce the number. Let's say you want to make it four. Now click on modify. Now I will just make it default to 150 and click on modify. The next thing that we have over here is the secondary reinforcement. So if you want to provide some secondary reinforcement, you can always do that like this. And then you can also choose what type of secondary reinforcement you provide. What is the spacing of the stirrups for them? So all the things can be done from here. And next thing is the uh, attributes so over here you can decide what kind of prefix do you want to uh, like apply to them what kind of classes they should have so you can just go ahead and select and provide these attributes to your model now if you want to know more about this then you can simply watch the previous session i will just uh, leave a link by the end of this video so guys that was all about how you can provide the reinforcement in column using the components and if you want to learn more about that, then hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want to learn how you can make a career as a product consultant, then you can find a free webinar in the description. You can just go ahead and check it out. And if you want to book a strategy call with us, then you will also find the link by the end of the same webinar. Okay, so just go ahead and all the best for your career.